아, 요즘 제일 듣기 싫은 말? 어, 끝. 살쪘다. 아, 야. 또 확실히 얼굴 살은 좀 없을 때가 화면. So if you have been keeping up with my past few videos, then you would know that this summer in May, I am going to Japan and Korea. And because of that, lately I've been like, Adrian, you should probably like brush up on your knowledge about these cultures. So it's currently winter break. I don't even know what day we're on at this point. I'm starting to go stir crazy. But this morning, literally like an hour ago, I'm just laying in bed, kind of researching up on Korea and Japan. And all of a sudden I stumble upon K-pop. If you've never listened to a K-pop song, you should. It'll make you want to go like run a marathon. One, two, three. It's pretty much a genre of music that originated in South Korea and it's kind of composed of like electronic, pop, rock, hip hop, kind of like a melting pot of a couple different styles of music. So I'm just kind of scrolling through all this K-pop stuff and all of a sudden I come across this thing called the K-pop paper cup diet. Okay, paper cup diet is a diet that two K-pop stars started. The girls get three paper cups for every meal of the day, so nine in total. One cup contains rice, one with vegetables, and the last with any side that they desire. Ooh. So pretty much K-pop stars are kind of known for following these crazy ass diets that are super restricting. In fact, some of these diets, like you're only getting four to 500 calories, which is absolutely terrible. So naturally to see what's good with these diets, I went on YouTube and I just typed in K-pop star weight loss. And oh my goodness, uh, I'll just let you guys see for yourself. <laughs> So I saw not just those crazy transformations, but then I also saw on the side the recommended was a video showing all of these compilations of K-pop stars fainting because they haven't had any food. <laughs> I want to tell you guys I don't recommend doing this you really only get about 800 calories a day that's nowhere near sufficient I'm doing this diet not because I want to lose weight or anything like that I'm doing this for the sole purpose of this YouTube video I think it would be a fun experiment I've never done anything like this on my channel so yeah that's just a little disclaimer if you're actually somebody watching this video because you want to lose weight click off this is not the way to lose weight you're just gonna gain it all back if you want to lose weight just eat healthy drink water go to the gym live a healthy lifestyle don't diet because it's not gonna work. So it sounds like this diet is kind of based on managing portion control. However, when you look at all the meal examples, there's zero protein in any of these diets. So I'm just really confused on how these girls are doing these diets, but they're dancing for like nine, 10 hours a day with zero protein in their body. A couple more things before we get started. So first, I'm kind of bummed that I don't have a good, like, healthy lifestyle routine on this channel to refer you guys to. So I will definitely be making that video soon. I don't want you to think that I do diets and stuff like that because I don't. And second, I'm just gonna follow my regular workout routine that I do. I'll put it here on the screen for you. I'm kind of nervous though because, once again, this diet has literally zero protein. So I feel like my workouts are kind of gonna be a bitch. But you know what? You really won't know anything until you try. So... Let's go. All right, so I'm coming at you guys from Food Lion. I first wanna show you kind of like what I'm picking up for this diet. First, brown rice is something you're eating like several times a day on this diet. Also, you're eating a ton of veggies. So honestly, fresh would probably be better, but I'm lazy, so we're just gonna get frozen veggies. I grabbed a couple of avocados because I know that I'm gonna be so low energy and these will probably give me a little bit of boost that I'm gonna need. I got some baby carrots just for snacks. And then I don't know if you're able to do chicken or not, but if you are, I'm definitely gonna cut this up and add it to the veggies. It's just like a pack of pre-cooked chicken. All right, and last, but definitely not least, we need some cups. I think this is like the standard size that it suggests. I absolutely love vegetables, but if there's one veggie I just don't buy myself, it's 10 out of 10 Brussels sprouts. But whatever, I guess I'll just have to suck it up. I will definitely let you guys know if I have to cheat because I'm not gonna go to the gym and feel queasy. Like, I wanna drink a protein shake if I have to. My Brussels just got done, so meal one, let's go. So it is about 7.30 and if I look tired, it's because I actually just woke up. I took a nap and if you know me, you know that I don't take naps usually. Like I couldn't even tell you the last time that I took a nap because I just usually don't get tired throughout the day. If I'm tired, I'll just go to bed early. But because of how restricting this diet is, I think I just feel really low energy. So that's why I took a nap, but I'm up now. It's like 7.30. I still need to go to the gym tonight. 
Um, the only thing is, I don't know if I should eat my last meal now or if I should wait until after. Because I feel like if I eat it now, I'm going to be so hungry after. And I feel like if I save it for after, that'll be like a motivator for me while I'm like working out. I don't know. This like tiredness thing, this wave of tiredness is expected though. Like you can't stay fueled throughout the day with literally a cup of rice and Brussels sprouts. Like, that's not gonna happen. Anyways, I need to stop sitting around and complaining and just get up and do this. This is me procrastinating right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go work out, eat my last meal, and then I guess I'll talk to you guys sometime tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm coming at you with my next meal. I need to catch you guys kind of up to speed a little bit. So I think last time I talked to you guys was before I went to work out and um, my workout was terrible. I literally, okay, you know those movies when they're like crossing the border or doing something crazy? To I felt like I had zero energy in me. So that happened, I came home, I literally drank one glass of rosé and was drunk because I had no food in my body, which like I don't get drunk off one glass of rosé. So that also happened and then this morning I woke up and I was kind of trying to figure out what my game plan should be because I want to go to spin class at 3 o'clock. Based off how weak I felt yesterday at the gym, I don't want to go. Like if I'm going to feel that weak during my workout and feel like crap, I don't want to go. So I think I have a game plan. I'm kind of like doing a little fasting thing today, like intermittent fasting when you don't eat till noon. So it's noon right now and I'm just now eating my breakfast. And then I have spin at three. So what I'm gonna do is I think at like 1.30 or two. So literally in an hour and a half, I'm gonna eat my lunch. And that way I have plenty of fuel for this workout because I really don't wanna miss a workout just because of this stupid diet. And there is a small chance I'm gonna end it tonight just because I really don't know if I wanna put myself through this one more day. Like I want to for the video, you know, but I feel like I've already proved my point. Like this is stupid it's dumb to restrict yourself like this I really do like the idea of portion control like that's kind of what this is but the fact that you are not snacking on like nuts and fruit and stuff throughout the day you're starving all day whatever I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing for breakfast I have half an avocado and some just like little potatoes I have my banana and my tangerine and then I have my cup of rice okay so I'm honestly getting very nervous about working out with such a little protein in my body because you need that <laughs> so i'm just gonna drink this i know it's not part of the diet but i'm not trying to pass out so we're gonna drink this sorry breaking the diet whatever <laughs> so good and i'm so happy it feels like summer outside it's like 70 degrees in the beginning of february what So it is now just about the end of day two. I'm about to have my last meal So I thought I'd pop in show you guys what I'm eating and then kind of let you know how today went So I have my rice, which I'm so over rice at this point I have this pathetic ass little salad, which is just kale and then some sliced up uh, apple and like walnuts and a little bit of cheese on top and then I have half of a sweet potato. I'm actually so excited to eat this. I love sweet potato. So as far as how today went, obviously yesterday was kind of rough. I took that nap and I woke up and I had no energy and my workout sucked and then today I kind of took a fasting route which means that like I didn't eat my breakfast until noon and the reason I did that is because I wanted to have fuel for my workout and it definitely did work. I had a much better time today than yesterday just because I had more energy and I think the protein I had for lunch helped as well. I didn't have any protein yesterday and honestly you guys now that I start thinking about it I don't think I'm going to do day three I was going to but this is stupid I feel like I've already proved my point to you guys on how this just is not a good idea I mean it's good for portion control as I said earlier but the thing is you're limiting yourself to three small cups of food whereas you can have a huge salad filled with so much nutrients a huge bowl you know what i mean um and get way more full off it than these three little you know cups i genuinely like worry about the k-pop stars that actually follow this diet and i hope not many of them do but i know a lot of them do follow this and a lot of the other crazy diets but yeah this is just this diet should be canceled it's not good do not do this. As far as how I'm actually feeling and if I notice a difference in how I look or anything like that, I just feel more weak. There's no protein at all in this diet and when you don't get enough protein, you literally feel 
weak. And if you didn't know, when you don't get enough protein, not only do you feel super weak, but you lose muscle mass. So it would literally just make you look really unhealthy and super skinny if you were to follow a diet like this. But I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just eat my final dinner on this little two-day diet now. Um, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and make some pancakes or waffles or something because I deserve it. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, be on the lookout very soon for a full-on like health routine video. I don't want you guys to get the idea that I diet a lot like this because I don't. This is my first diet ever. On a daily basis, I just eat healthy. I drink water and that kind of thing and if I want to have junk once in a while, I will. You know, it's all about listening to your body. But on the other hand, let me know if you want to see more types of videos like this. I think they could be really fun if I did one maybe like once a month or something like that. So let me know if you have any more ideas along this kind of realm. As always, don't forget to go check me out on Instagram. I love talking to you guys on there. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for sticking around through this video. I know it was different, but I actually did have fun doing it as miserable as it was, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys!